Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. The Elven Sage decided to erode the King of the Hunt's support in his own realm. With Geralt in tow, he ventured through other worlds to the city of Ternalia. There they found Aradin's viceroy, Gels. Gels had been a loyal subject of the Alder Folk's previous king. When he learned Aradin was a regicide, he agreed to help defeat the usurper. Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a Fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. Who do you think you oh. are? Hey, you! Whoa, 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 whoa. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. Ha <laughs> ha! 
settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. Plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show his Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven once. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Kroch's longships are moored there. I'm off. Good luck. I wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Vacant. So they bet on him and so you ain't a man in need. Who are there? Look at me as a sea girl. You're looking for what?
Bran would slit that traitorous bitch's throat were he alive. And we should have drowned that whelp in deep water the day he was born. Looking for Hermion. Oh, he's in there with him, pale as a beet carp. If he don't bring the brat in line, who will? But no, he says, the gods gave us a king. We must support him. Support what? Svanriga standing there like a mute fencing dummy, gazing on as that hag sells us to the black ones. Berna Bran arranged everything behind our backs. Why, well, she's not even denying it. Ugh, I refuse to look upon this disgrace. Trusty axe. Who is this? No one important. As I was saying, we shall discuss the details later. His Majesty accepts the document in its current form. Never thought I'd live to see the day. We are prepared to seal the treaty. How much would I need to pay you to take off her head, here and now? Same price as for an Arinia. Tempting. The King pledges to fulfill all the conditions by the summer solstice. Before I sign, I wish to hear this from the King's mouth. Svanriga. Out at once. You hear what the king said? Move! In Skellige, anyone can be king. All they need is the Jarls on their side. Sometimes a mediocrity gets just that, and the Isles get a ruler the clans don't respect. No one expected much of Svanriga, of Clan Twersech, but he went down in history as the founder of a dynasty. And as the king who united all the clans against Nilfgaard. Svanriga, who could have known? The Jarls have one they can believe in again. And who brought you here? Come to make sure no scandal in Skellige passes you by? Listen, Ermion. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Orberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe elves interesting. But there's a skald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might ask the Pearl Divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fish lung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. Uh, one thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago, were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. 
You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. The gods protect us. Got me eye on you. That's it, Roach. Lower. Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, hey, they mentioned something. Hey, I have more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today is the day Gavorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. Let's watch for Gavorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Ha! <laughs> Can tell by your mug I was right. And to think, didn't take you for a looter at first. I just want to look around the cavern. Research. Research? Writing an adventure novel, gathering material for it. Mean to write up the coming of the White Fleet? Try, my dear. 
Mayhaps you could use my translation of the Song of Gilban and Dillion. Gladly, gladly. So where's this cavern? Got a sail east from Kertrolda. Caverns in a cove, only accessible from the sea. So long, and good luck with the White Whale. It'll show today. I'm sure of it. Somewhere. Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalok's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalok mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Wanna just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikerog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? I'd forgotten how irritating she could be. Come, Siri. We'll await you there. It's full of skeletons. We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yatta Ligon! We've awoken the 
nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. on the ship. We know that. What if he's not? Stop. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Sweet tooth. Feel like I've walked into somebody's bedroom. Yen. chart of the Enhanikir, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me? You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Forget this. Not like we're gonna learn anything new. How can you know? I don't wish to read this either.
How did you get in here? Who are you? Not your concern. Get out of here. Now. You. I remember you. From Tirnalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's, uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be! Siri. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Kaer Morhen? Shame I can't do that at will, because I'd really like to now. Calm down. The elf was right. <sighs> Aren't you supposed to cheer me up? You carry Lara's gene. Nothing you can do about it. Inherited her talent and her power, too. That she-elf would give up a century of her life to be you. It certainly didn't seem so. You were born with a great gift, and only you can decide how to use it. What's that? A necklace. Laura Doran's. It's beautiful, but... Yours, to wear. Let's go. I'm sick of this place. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye.
I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm. See you. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. I think the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Beyond the village. There's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skjall. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The Wild Hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofoten to ash? What would the Spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves... Well... It's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said... I can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. You've no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. Back to the boat. Mm -hmm. Who are there with you? 
fjender som bruger. It's clearing up. That's it, Roach. Move it. Assassin, let fly! Where the hell has he gone? Shoot him! Keep him away from the ship! We got him! Return to your stations! Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. We are at war, if you've not noticed. I've noticed. I can see the smoke from burning huts miles away. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. 
Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her dimeritium shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. Take it easy.
just Witch. wonderful. I say, look at this. Let's go. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did? I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown any of that yet. Mm. Looked disgusting, but... You like that silver? Hmm. So how do we get up the... The stairs? I'll fix them right away. Let's go. Couldn't help 
notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Siri, I think. There are times I doubt you can realize how it is. Triss plays the big sister to Siri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah, so if you're angry to make it a fight. So there's clearly no room. It appears I must do everything for you. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Ugh, in blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlum, the elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? Jennifer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No, Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? This deal with Emir. It's sorcerer's business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. But you do know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can, if the need arises. Wait. There's something here. Feel it? No. My medallion. A ridiculous bauble. Don't make me laugh. Tuning into elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Arahan Luma! Uh -huh. That means the Sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors.
Last. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the Sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Ciri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. You're like Nilfgaard, no two ways about it. I recommend the fresh alpine air of Nazair. <laughs> and Yennefer claims you have no sense of humor. Now listen carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because... If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic. But perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you and go. Any other words of wisdom, or can we go? You may go. I know you've things to do. I can find my own way back.
Geralt? Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Yes, Geralt? We found the Sunstone. Gael Barn's gift to Dillion of the White Fleet. As legend has it, she never used the stone, and Gael Barn died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 